simply learn your pace your place event management principles and basic concepts what are the types of events that help us to analyze the trends slash problems there are many different types of events and they are informational warning and exception one events that signify regular operation like notification that a scheduled workload has completed a user has logged in to use an application and an email has reached its intended recipient are considered to be informational events. 2. Exception event is an event which signifies that something has failed. Examples such as a user attempts to log on to an application with the incorrect password. An unusual situation has occurred in the business process that may indicate an exception requiring further business investigation. For example, a web page alert indicates that a payment authorization site is unavailable, impacting financial approval of business transactions. A device's CPU is above the acceptable utilization rate. A PC scan reveals the installation of unauthorized software. Events that signify unusual but not exceptional are considered to be warning. These situations may require closer monitoring. In some cases, the condition will resolve itself. For example, in the case of an unusual combination of workloads as they are completed, normal operation is restored. In other cases, operator intervention may be required if the situation is repeated or if it continues for too long. These rules or policies are defined in the monitoring and control objectives for that device or service. For example, a server's memory utilization reaches within 5% of its highest acceptable performance level, or the completion time of a transaction is 10% longer than normal. Next, we will learn about the key concepts of event management. Event management key concepts. In this slide, we will understand the flow of the event management process, first being the occurrence of an event. Events occur continuously, but not all of them are detected or registered. It is, therefore, important that everybody involved in designing, developing, managing and supporting IT services and the IT infrastructure that they run on understands what type of events need to be detected. Most CIs are designed to communicate certain information about themselves in one 